Hey there! In this video you will learn how to import cards into Trello using Google Sheets. You will need a Trello board to work with along with your list's email address. You'll need a Google Sheet. You'll need an add-on called Yet Another Mail Merge that works with Google Sheets and Gmail. So to get started what you'll want to do is uh, go into Trello. And from Trello I'm going to go into the menu and from the menu I'm going to look for email to board settings. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to copy this email address and this email address is going to allow me to email cards into Trello into the upcoming list uh, which I have here on the left. But if you'd like to change the list you'd like to email the cards into you can switch it up over here. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is go into Google Sheets and in Google Sheets I'm going to prepare something that looks like this. So I have a header for the card title uh, so that's a column here. Um, I've got a column for members and these are the members that I want to assign to a card uh, and if I have more than one member I simply separate the usernames with uh, with a space and uh, I've got a column for uh, the cards description whatever I want to go into the Trello card description I just uh, put it in here. Now that email address that I copied over I'm just gonna paste it in here and since I'm gonna bring over 10 cards into Trello I'm just gonna fill this email address down um, for all of these 10 rows. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the add-ons and uh, get add-ons and we're here let's search for yet another mail merge. Okay I'm going to click the plus free and I'm going to authorize the add-on to connect with my Google account and now what I'm going to do is um, uh, head into Gmail and, uh, and prepare an uh, a draft message. So before I do that I'm just gonna copy the headers of uh, you know the title members and description go into Gmail let's click compose and uh, let's clear any you know email signatures and things like that from here so that it doesn't uh, mess with the formatting much. I'm gonna move the title and members to the subject and leave the description in the body of the email and the yet another mail merge uh, syntax uh, calls for two angle brackets uh, for each of the column headers. So I'm going to add that in over here. So I'm just going to do that for the members and I'm going to do that for the description as well. That's it. All you need to do now is simply save and close. So the the email is saved as a draft message and now let's go into Google Sheets and uh, and fire up yet another mail merge. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to click add-ons, hover over yet another mail merge and start mail merge. Okay. So in the first bar in the first drop down I'm going to select uh, the drop down and select the draft message which was title members. Uh, the sender name is not really relevant but you can add your name in there and it's going to go out from my email account. All I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit send emails and that's it. I'm going to hit OK here. The merge status uh, says all the emails are sent. If you go into your Gmail and check your sent mail you'll notice that uh, all of these emails have been email to Trello. Now what we do is we go into Trello and we just give it a few seconds. So these cards start flowing into Trello. Um, I'm, I'm not sure how but they uh, but they come in slowly. So you just have to give it a few seconds before all of your cards show up here. There they are. And if you open up any one of these cards you'll notice it's got the title, you've got the members assigned and of course you've got the description as well. So, so that's how you uh, import um, cards into Trello using a Google Sheet. Uh, there are a few caveats that you want to keep in mind. Uh, the yet another mail merge add-on allows you to send 100 emails a day. That means you can import 100 cards into Trello for free. Uh, if you need to import more than 100 cards, you may have to go with a with a plan uh, and and you know support the developer of this add-on. The other thing is the order in which um, your uh, cards are imported uh, that isn't preserved so for instance in your in your Google Sheet you might have it 
you know, ordered like, you know, 1 to 10 like this. But as they flow into Trello, the, the order isn't preserved. So you'll have to be prepared to, you know, reorder this if you need to. All right. And one last thing is, uh, you know, things can change. So, uh, you know, Google might update their spreadsheet API or Trello might do something at their end. Or uh, the maintainer of this, uh, I mean, the, the add-on um, may not be maintained by the, by the developer. So it might break. Uh, but as it stands right now, um, this is a, a very simple way to import um, cards into Trello. So thank you for watching.